Thank you so much for joining me today on Senior Fitness with Meredith. So today's workout will be a seated strength training workout and we're gonna use the timer. So we're gonna do each body part essentially for an amount of time. So we'll start with a warm up. We'll go through our workout, have a nice stretch at the end, full body workout, get it done nice and quick. So what you'll need is some type of resistance, either weights, you can use water bottles or just range of motion, a nice sturdy, comfortable chair and your water close by. Get your equipment and I'll meet you right back here. So we are ready to get started with our seated strength training workout. So I'm gonna have the timer going. We're gonna work for 35 seconds and have 15 seconds break in between each movement. So we're gonna start with 15 seconds break and then we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Have those weights on your thighs to start. We're gonna start with a single knee raise, but not yet. Go when I go. There's the start of our timer. If you've done other workouts with me and we've used that timer, especially in our HIIT workouts, you've gotten used to that thing now. So remember, you'll hear that beep. It's nothing around your house. Nice and tall, core tight, just right side. Knee up, release. Knee up, release. <sighs> nice and lifted in your chair. Keep those abdominals pulled in tight. Lead from your quadricep, that thigh muscle. Exhale, inhale. Lower abdominals working. You might start to feel that hip flexor, but I want you to feel your quadricep engage. Make the big leg muscle do the work. Exhale, inhale. And release. Let that side have a little break. We're doing that same thing on our left side. Keep our good posture form tall in our chair. Relax the shoulders. Let that weight be our resistance as we lift that left foot up off of the ground. Exhale, inhale. Make that big leg muscle, your quadricep, do the brunt of the work to lift that foot up and that added resistance if you're using it today. Exhale, inhale. We're going right through this workout, one body part to the next, alternating lower body, upper body, then abs at the end. Back pulls will be next. Remember you get 15 seconds in between. Breather, grab water if you need it. Holding those weights down by your side, chest goes slightly forward. We have that length in our arms. We're focusing on our upper back. So squeeze upper back, release. Squeeze upper back, release. Pull those shoulder blades together. Little pause at top as you squeeze, relax. Exhale, inhale. Remember, slow and controlled in both directions. Don't let gravity and the weight of your resistance that you're using take over and just drop to the floor. Working both ways. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Back up tall, weights go back onto those thighs. Just our right side's gonna work. We're gonna extend that leg out. We're gonna pick the foot up bending at the knee and tap our toes. All right, stay nice and tall. Right side, then left. Really pull that foot back as far as you can in the seat that you're in. So you're getting flexion of the knee through the extension flexion pull back, but I want you to really focus on the back of your leg. It's hard to get to your hamstrings, the back of the leg, when we're seated. This one will do it as we pull from our hamstring. Pull from your hamstring. And that foot goes down, we're nice and tall. We get to do the left side, same thing. We have that extension in the leg. Always keep that slight bend in the knee, never lengthening and locking it out. Always that micro bend. Same thing, foot comes up, pull back, out. So heel to toe. Really put the focus in the back of your leg, that hamstring, pulling that foot back, pulling that foot back.
Exhale and inhale. And feet next to each other. Little break, 15 seconds, upper body next, alternating your bicep curls. Weights by your side, palms are forward. Keep those elbows nice and close to the side of the body. We'll alternate right and left. So curl up right, curl up left. Remember, focus on your form. Don't try and do more repetitions or lift heavier weight if your form is not good. Elbows glued into the side of the body. They're not jutting forward. Shoulders are relaxed. And your biceps, the front of the arm, is lifting, releasing that weight. Stay nice and tall. Let's do one more on each side. Even it out. Release those weights onto those thighs. Relax it down. Just right side, back to lower body. Open, together. Just right side. So open, together. Open, together. Body stays center. A lot of times we want that upper body to turn with that movement. We're working on engaging and strengthening our hip, our gluteals, our outer thigh. When we go out, inner thigh and groin, when we pull back to center. <sighs> Dominals always working. <sighs> nice and tall and proud. And now left side, same thing. Really focus on your form as your body stays center towards me. Hips facing towards me, chest facing towards me. Leg goes out to the side. Nice and tall, bring that resistance along with it. Open side, pull center. Again, really think. Hips, gluteals, outer thigh, inner thigh groin. When you come back to center, of course abdominals, always working. Exhale, inhale. Breathe along with it. Like I said, we're going from one move to the next. We're getting through this fast. And a little break. Back to upper body now. Side raises. We'll alternate these as well. So arms by your side. Slight bend in those elbow joints. Shoulders are relaxed. Alternate right and left. No higher than shoulder level. Doesn't even have to go that high. Engage the top of the shoulder gently release it we're not swinging it's not momentum to try and get it up there muscles doing the work not momentum <sighs> exhale inhale slow control both directions if you can't control it use a lighter weight or just do range of motion that's perfectly fine let's do one more even it out Weights go on to those thighs. Heel raises next. Both working at the same time for this one. Place those palms onto your weights. So press them down. We're adding more resistance for our calf muscles as those heels come up. Heels come up. <sighs> Going on to the ball of your foot, getting flexion of your foot in your shoe. Try not to just go on to the tippy toes. Feel the lower part of the leg, the calf muscle contract and release. So we're strengthening our calves, we're strengthening our ankle joints, we're strengthening our feet. Exhale, inhale. Nice and lifted, release one of your weights down to the ground. We're gonna have two hands, one weight, focusing on front body, chest. Nice and tall, it's gonna go out at a slight diagonal. Like you're placing that item on the shelf. You decide you want it again, bring it back. Exhale, inhale, lengthen out. <sighs> Exhale, inhale. Front body doing that work. <sighs> Exhale, inhale.
Extend and lengthen, extend and lengthen, and release. Little shake out, remember grab water when you need it. We're getting through this workout. Back to lower body, nice long lever, right side only, slight bend in the knee, weight on that thigh. Nice and lifted, lifting that heel up, releasing down. So really focus on that thigh muscle, your quadricep. That string is pulling from there. So it's not just lifting that foot up. A lot of times I see this from the knee joint. Quadricep engage, lifting up, releasing. Lift up, release. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. And switch sides. Left, lengthen out, slight bend in that knee. Weight goes on that thigh. Remember, long lever, harder to lift, slow and controlled. <laughs> Exhale, inhale. <sighs> lift up from that quadricep. <sighs> Exhale, inhale. Engage, release. Engage, release. The abdominals tight, stay nice and lifted, almost there. And release. Back to upper body, just the right side working so that weight goes into your right hand. Tricep kickbacks, really focusing on the back of your arm. Chest is forward, elbow nice and high. Keep that elbow lifted, extend back, release in. Extend back, release in. Think of that string now holding your elbow up so it can't release down. It's not moving, it's holding that elbow up and in place. So you're hinging from the elbow joint and you're working your tricep, the back of that arm. Exhale, inhale. Let's switch sides, little break in between. Shake that right side out. Same thing left, core tight, chest slightly forward. Lift that left elbow high. That string is holding it in place. It can't move anywhere. Just your weight and forearm as it hinges from your elbow joint, release. Exhale, inhale. <sighs> Lengthen, release. Slow controlled, again, if you feel like you're swinging the weight, from your shoulder, it's going front to back, then that weight might be a little too heavy. Tricep smaller muscle group. Having a variety of different sizes is a great way to go. You can change it up for different body parts. And relax it out. Let's focus on our abdominals now. Leaning back in our chair, hold on to your one weight. Feet are a little bit out, right in the center of the belly. That string is moved now. It's lifting us up from our abdominals. We engage, we sit tall, we release back. I want you to focus on keeping length in your spine. Again, no momentum. If you're holding a weight, we're not throwing it forward to help us sit up. We're focusing on engaging the core, abdominals. Release, exhale. Inhale. Breathe with it, we're exerting energy, we exhale out. Let's stay up nice and tall, walk those feet a little bit back. Front of the shoulders now doing our work. Weight is out, keep that slight bend in the elbow joint, lifting that weight no higher than your gaze. So bring it up, release it down. Bring it up, release it down. Exhale, inhale. Not just swinging, no momentum, don't forget. Make the front of the shoulders do the work. Feel the core tighten because that weight wants to pull you forward in your chair and you're not allowing it.
and release. Whew. Little shake out, starting to feel these twists are next. That weight is gonna go slightly down to the right, center, slightly down left, center. Relax the arms, focus core and obliques. So it goes down to the right, those obliques pull you back up center. We go down to the left, those obliques pull you back center. Exhale, inhale. Length stays in the spine. Only twist to the side as far as you feel comfortable. We're strengthening the obliques, the side of the waist, our lower back. Work on range of motion in that spine. And then come back up to center, our front bends next. Putting that focus into your lower back, remember that's part of the core. Keep the length in your spine, resistance close to the body, upper body's not doing anything, chest goes forward, inhale, exhale, that string pulls us up from our lower back, inhale, exhale. Again, I sound like a broken record, no momentum. We want to go fast through movement sometimes. Slow, controlled, focus on what you're working. Lower back, leading you up. Those abdominals are pulled in tight. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Just two more exercises, then we'll stretch it out. Back in our chair again, holding onto the weight. We're gonna alternate sitting tall, right foot's gonna come up, we're gonna twist to the right, then the left. So up tall, right foot up, twist, release back, other side, left foot up, exhale left, release back. We're working the entire core area. So upper, middle, lower abdominals, our obliques, our lower back, Everything's working. Breathe into it. One more movement. If you feel comfortable, bring those feet shoulder distance apart. Weights in front of you. We're putting equal pressure from the ball of our foot to our heel. We're just gonna lift those hips up. Hover over our seat for a second. Gently release down. So lift those hips, hover, gently release. Too much pain, pressure on your knee joints, alternate your knee raises. Exhale, inhale. Feeling your quadriceps engage, they want to press you up. Your gluteals, your abdominals working. Remember, equal pressure, ball of your foot to your heel, helping with that balance. Almost there. And release that weight down. I'm turning this timer off. Grab some water. Perfect time to get some water before we do some nice stretches. Stretching it out, even with a quick workout. It's always good to take some time to stretch it out after. Nice and lifted in your chair, take your time. Heart rate comes down, grab water, lift it. Twist and open to the right side. Big deep inhales, big deep exhales. Let's go through center left, twist and open. Body center, hands next to us, either pressing on the chair and allow your chest to go forward or if you can hold on to it, walk up the back, release. That big opening in your shoulders and chest as you keep the length in the spine and squeeze, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Walk your hands back down, place them onto your lap, hollow out the belly, arch and stretch your spine. Feeling your shoulder blades open, feel each individual vertebrae open. Imagine air in between each one into that lower back. Let's sit up nice and tall. Let's lengthen out through that right leg. Slight bend in the knee, hinging forward at the hips. Feel that stretch, then walk the hands down to where it's comfortable and release into it. And 
And we'll roll it back up, sitting tall. Right foot comes up, circle that foot around. Remember, moving from the ankle joint, not the knee. Reverse it, other way. Let's release our right foot down, same thing left. Leg is out long, slight bend in the knee, hinging forward at those hips. Feel that stretch, then allow yourself to release into it. I want you to feel from your calf, hamstring, gluteals, lower back. And then we'll come back up nice and slow, sitting tall, left foot comes up, circle that foot around from the ankle joint. Work on that mobility and stretch. Reverse the other way. Wiggle your toes in your shoe. And release your left foot down. Open those feet a little more than shoulder distance apart. Let your hands release down towards the floor. Nice deep stretch, entire lower body and back. We'll roll it up nice and slow. When you're sitting tall, just heel toe your feet back to center. Bring those arms next to you. Three shoulder shrugs. Shrug them up towards the ears with an inhale. Exhale, release them. Two more. Last one. Let's circle those shoulders around to the front as you open up the upper back. Two more. Inhale, exhale. One more. Reverse that direction. Open shoulders and chest. Release your shoulder blades down the spine. One more. Let's do our three deep inhales, exhales now. Inhale, bring length up overhead. Exhale. Two more. Big deep inhale. Length goes up. Exhale. One more. Big deep inhale. Length up overhead. Exhale. Release it all out because we did it. Wonderful job with your seated four-time strength training workout. I'm so proud of you. Good job. I look forward to seeing you for our next workout together.